Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and if you're watching this video, then Fortnite is probably crashing on your iPhone or iPad, and that's not cool. The goal of this video is to talk you through a number of troubleshooting steps you can try right now on your iOS device to hopefully get you past those crashes and back into the action. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helps you so others can find it, and definitely consider subscribing to my channel for more mobile gaming content. So, the good news is that unlike PUBG Mobile, where certain devices listed as compatible on the App Store like the iPhone 5S or iPad Mini 2 or 3 currently all crash and can't even load the game, Fortnite does seem to work, at least occasionally, with every device listed as compatible. So the first thing to check is that you're trying to play Fortnite on a compatible device. This means an iPad Mini 4, an iPad Air 2 or later, which includes all iPad Pros as well as the 2017 iPad, or on an iPhone SE, 6S, 7, 8, or 10, or the plus size versions of one of those phones, of course. The common denominator between all these devices is they all have at least 2 gigabytes of RAM, which appears to be necessary for the game to run. Of course, this may change in the future, and if it does, I'll be sure to update you. Assuming you're on one of these compatible devices, the first thing to try is a simple force close and restart of the game. You can do this on devices with a home button by double pressing the home button to bring up the app switcher. We'll do that now. We'll go back home by pressing once, and then we'll double press to bring up the app switcher. Then you simply find Fortnite, which is probably your most recent app, and swipe it up to close it. And I'll demonstrate this now, so we'll find Fortnite, which is right here, go up like that, to close it. And after you swipe to close the app, just press the home button a single time to close the app switcher, just like this, and launch it again from the home screen. And for the iPhone 10, which doesn't have a home button, you need to swipe up from the bottom of the screen to enter the app switcher, and then press and hold on Fortnite until a little red circle with a minus inside pops up on the top left. This sounds a little confusing, so I'll try to show you on this iPhone over the iPad. So we have Fortnite running, so we'll close it by swiping up, just like that. And then we'll rotate this guy. You can marvel at the many emails I have. Um, you can swipe up just like this to bring up the app switcher. And then once you have it open, you tap and hold on Fortnite until this little red circle with a minus sign appears. And then you press the circle to close the app. And then tap anywhere other than an app to exit and return to the home screen. So we'll tap down here twice. And there you go. You can try to relaunch Fortnite again. And if this doesn't work, the next step is to try a simple power off and power on. Over time, as you use your iOS device, programs leak memory and don't always shut down properly when they're exited. This means less potential resources are available when you try to load an intensive game like Fortnite. The process to power off your device is different depending on what you have. However, for most Apple products, you simply hold down the power button. On devices like an iPhone 7 or later, this is a little different. And like on the iPhone, 10 for example, I'll hold down the right side button and the volume down buttons together to bring up the prompt to turn off the device. So I'll show you that now. It doesn't even matter that we're in the app. I'll just hold down the volume down and the right side buttons at the same time. And then you can see here we have a, uh, a slider to power off. And then on this iPad mini 4, we just hold down the power button until that slider appears. You can see just like that. And then once you turn off your device, uh, just press the power button again or press the right side button on the iPhone 10, and that way you can uh, power back up your device and try to launch Fortnite again. All right, so now that you've restarted your device, try to launch Fortnite again. If it works now, great. Otherwise, we have a few more things to try. Next, we'll try a hard restart, which is more complete in clearing memory and making sure any offending programs or processes have been shut down and won't interfere with Fortnite. Just like a simple power off and power on that we just tried, the process varies based on what device you have. For an iPad or any iPhone older than the iPhone 7, you hold down the power button and the home button at the same time for a few seconds 
until the screen goes blank and the Apple logo appears. At this point, you can release the buttons and let the device restart. So I'll show you that now on this iPad mini. I'll just hold down the power button and the home button at the same time. We'll wait a few seconds. And you can see the screen just went blank. It turned off. And then now you see the Apple logo. So I will now release the buttons and let it restart. For an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus or an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, you need to hold down the power button as well as the volume down button until the screen goes blank and the device restarts. For an iPhone 10, it's a little more complicated, so I'll show you. In order to force restart an iPhone 10, you first have to press the up volume button, then the down volume button, and then hold the button on the side. So I'll demonstrate that now. So one, two, three. And then you keep holding this for around 10 seconds or so until the phone restarts. And I understand I just threw a lot of information at you, so feel free to rewatch this part if you need help in getting your device to hard restart, or leave a comment down below and someone will help you out. Hard restarts like the one we just did solve a good number of app crashes. However, what if Fortnite still isn't working for you? Well, the next step is to make sure the app is up to date. Developer updates often fix issues that can't be solved any other way. In order to make sure you're updated to the latest version of Fortnite, go ahead, return to the home screen, and launch the iOS App Store. Once the App Store is launched, go over to Updates, and make sure that Fortnite isn't listed there. If it is, definitely install the update and then give your device a restart after the update finishes before you try to launch the updated version. If the app is still crashing, don't lose hope. Next, we should check to make sure your iOS software is up to date and also confirm you're on iOS 11, which is required to run Fortnite. In order to do this, launch Settings. So we'll go ahead and do that now, find Settings, and then go to General, and then Software Update. And as you can see, this iPad Mini 4 is already up to date. However, if there is an update available, you're probably going to want to do that because there's a good chance that after you update your iOS version, that that could resolve software incompatibility issues. While you're in the Settings app, it's also a good idea to check how much storage you have left. Though uncommon, sometimes if you don't have a lot of free space on your device, that can cause issues with apps crashing and the solution is to free up space by deleting unused apps or old messages until you have at least two gigabytes of free space. You can check this by clicking on General to go back and then iPhone or iPad storage. As you can see, this iPad mini 4 has around 12 gigabytes or so free, so if it was crashing, that wouldn't be the issue. The last thing to try is to totally delete and then reinstall Fortnite. I'm listing this step last because it will take the longest, however if your game's still crashing, then it's definitely worth trying. In order to do this, press and hold on the Fortnite icon from your home screen until it starts to wiggle. Once it does, tap the little X that pops up on the top left of the icon, and then select delete when asked. Next, restart your device just to make sure nothing weird is going on in the background. And then after your device restarts, go back into the App Store and re-download the game. Well, hopefully that helped at least some of you resolve your crashing issues with Fortnite on iOS. Again, if you found this guide helpful, please consider subscribing as it keeps me making more videos. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the battlefield soon.